Welcome back to the Now YouTube channel. Um, so, for those of you guys who don't know, last week I made a video called This Video Will Offend All Germans. It's basically me going over and reviewing stereotypical maps of Germany, different regions, different states of Germany. Well, I had an absolute blast doing that, and I figured, why don't I do the same thing for America and the American states? So, uh, this video will offend all Americans. Okay, I'm sure the mic doesn't sound great, but as uh, most of you guys should know, well, my amazing patrons on Patreon, they got me a gift card to buy a new mic. Uh, I am in the process right now of choosing which one I want. Um, and so the new mic will probably be here next week and the audio will be way better then. But for now, you're just gonna have to deal with this really bad audio, sorry. All right, stereotypes, 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 here we go. We're only gonna do states that matters, obviously. Ooh, let's we'll start, let's we'll start in the good part of the country, the Northwest, where I'm from, Portland, Oregon. Start up in Washington, not that Washington. Yeah, people are always confused. Everyone, when you say Washington, most people think Washington, D.C., but usually when I say Washington, I'm talking about the state of Washington. Grunge, rain, weed. <laughs> yeah, that's all accurate. Uh, grunge, you guys know the band Nirvana? They're from Seattle, Washington, and uh, that's kind of like, I believe, like the start of the grunge movement. Accurate. Let's get Portland hipsters weed. That is, that is my life. Those are my, those are my stereotypes. Hipsters for sure, weed. Uh, yeah, you are in Portland and uh, Oregon and a couple other states. I don't know which ones, but Oregon and Washington, California, I think for sure, Colorado. There are just weed shops where you can just go in and buy like a joint or a blunt or whatever your choice of weed consumption is and you can go out on the sidewalk and, and consume it. Uh, you can do that in Oregon. I don't, but I could if I wanted to. That's really interesting to me because uh, in my opinion, Europe and Germany is much more progressive in a lot of different uh, aspects of life. But when it comes to marijuana, the US is much more progressive than Europe, aside from Amsterdam. Down the West Coast into California, no idea, to be honest. That is where Cody lives. Northern California, no idea. <laughs> uh, correct. Uh, San Francisco, you've got gay people, stoners, hippies, tech companies. Very accurate summation of San Francisco. Two of my siblings live in the San Francisco area, and uh, one more is about to move down there. Now we're getting to LA. Right, that's LA. Fake breasts, palm trees, and failed actors. Yes, when I was in film school, oh gosh, one of the most kind of depressing things is is dealing with uh, actors in LA. A lot, of, a lot of delusion, I would say. There's a lot of delusion in Los Angeles when it comes to actors. I had to like put people through auditions to be in my student films at USC, and boy, oh boy, what an eye-opening experience. West a little bit. Desert aliens in Nevada. Also, it's called Nevada. If you pronounce it Nevada, you're wrong. Nevada, Nevada. Nevada, okay? I always hear people from the East Coast pronouncing Nevada as Nevada, and they also say Oregon as Oregon. Oh, how do you live in a country and not be able to correctly pronounce the other states in that country? Oregon, Nevada, not Oregon, not Nevada. Oh, here we go, what else we got? Idaho does not deserve to be mentioned. I'm sorry! Ma, Montana. The only reason I'll talk about Montana is because uh, one of my best friends, Matt Fay, and his wife, Hannah Boyd Fay, live there. Uh, mountains, nothing else. Cowboys, super volcano, horses, grass, snow. Yeah, here we go. We're getting into, into the middle bit. New Mexico. And the only reason New Mexico deserves to get mentioned is because of the TV show Breaking Bad. And the number one stereotype of New Mexico is meth. It's because of the show Breaking Bad, and uh, that's the first thing I think of when I hear New Mexico, is meth. Oh, yeah. Some of these states, man. Oh, now we're getting into, oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm about to get, I'm about to fire off. We start off in the West Coast because I like the West Coast the best. I think it's the best part of the state. The further east we move, the, the more I'm gonna fire off on these states, okay? Some of these states, okay? And then just wait till we get, just wait till we get. Starting up in the Dakotas. I'm sorry, Dakotas, I'm sure you're great. I'm sure you're great. I hope that I never go there. And this is this is good. North Dakota, where? South Dakota, made up. Might as well be, who's gonna go there? Ooh, here we go. Wait, what state is that? What state is that? Am I an idiot? Oh, it's Nebraska. Literally nobody ever goes here. Um, 
we're getting here. These are these are kind of called the flyover states. Uh, it's the nickname of these states. It means nobody really goes there. You, you fly over them to get from the good states to the other good states. Sorry, Nebraska. Going further south, Kansas. The only thing that matters from Kansas is The Wizard of Oz, a great movie from the old days. No land, only tornadoes. Yes. And don't get me wrong. I, I believe the people that live in these states are very nice, kind, hardworking people. Would I want to go there and live there? No freaking way. Moving on south, oh, to Oklahoma. Oklahoma? Guys, uh, I've never been to Oklahoma, thankfully. Uh, but Devin went to college in Oklahoma, and from the things he has to say about this state, not so exciting. Listen, like I said, we need these states. These states, they do, they do some good things. Not for me. Not for me. Here we go. One of the most controversial states that there is. Probably one of the most famous states in the United States. Texas. The two biggest stereotypes here. Guns and oil. True, true. People walk around Texas, just holsters out, guns. I think people from Europe, if you go to Texas, you will be shocked and maybe a little bit scared seeing all these people walk around with guns. Um, but that is Texas. Not to be messed with. That is the saying. You don't mess with Texas. You get all the way to the west, you get into El Paso, Texas, which I went to El Paso, Texas uh, to watch my brother's uh, football game. And I had just an image of just a just horrible, deserty wasteland that made me feel very sad and uneasy. That was my image before going there. And I get there and uh, my images confirmed it was exactly that. I'm just kidding, it actually wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, El Paso, Texas. Um, I'm glad I went there and I could check it off my list to make sure I never go back to El Paso, Texas. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, here we go. Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Michigan. I like to lump these three in, in together a little bit. Nice people, funny accents. Oh, you're from Minnesota. Something like that, I don't know. Wisconsin makes a bunch of cheese. Iowa. Rudy's from Iowa. I have so many things to say about Iowa. Uh, I will say Iowa has produced uh, one good person uh, who is my roommate now. That is the, that's all I could, that's the only good thing I can say about Iowa. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Missouri, or as they probably say there, Missouri. Unloved, correct. Nope, correct. No idea, correct. What? Correct. The one we always forget. I wish I forgot it now. Here we go. Moving on down south, Arkansas. The only uh, notable thing about Arkansas is uh, that Bill Clinton is from Arkansas, uh, the president of the United States, former president of the United States. You know what's weird though, is that you pronounce Kansas, Kansas, in Arkansas, Arkansas. Shouldn't it be Arkansas? Stupid joke. Here we go, Louisiana. Now this is where Devin is from, so uh, I will try not to say too many bad things about Louisiana, but if you've ever seen the stand-up comedian Tom Segura, he says plenty of funny bad things about Louisiana. Here they've got jazz. Jazz, that's a good thing to come out of Louisiana. I like that. True Detective. Season one of True Detective is a very, very amazing piece of television. Uh, it takes place in Louisiana. So, you know, it's not a total throwaway. Only good thing about Illinois is Chicago. Guess what, Chicago, not even that good. Went to Chicago once, it was so freaking windy and cold, I had to like hide behind buildings. That's why they call it the Windy City, huh? <laughs> Indiana, not even worth mentioning. Ohio, I hate Ohio. Here's the thing, I, Ohio, Ohio is so cocky. As a state, Ohio is so cocky. When two people from Ohio meet each other, they listen to the audio, oh, H, and the other one goes, I O, Ohio. Shout out, Ohio. Talking to you, Garrett Powers. Miss you, brother. I don't know where the cockiness comes from. The, the state's got an ego the size of California and Texas put together. And I mean, you're Ohio, guys. It's Ohio. You're Ohio. I mean, most people can't even point out to where you are on the map. One surprising thing about Ohio is you think Ohio is like Midwest, right? But if you look at a map of the United States, Ohio is very far east. And this must be where that ego comes from because the further east you get, the larger the state's ego. And Ohio's pushing pretty far east. That makes a lot of sense. O-H-I-O, shut up. <sighs> Sorry, I get really worked up. I love state stereotypes. I love them. Oh no, the Southeast, the Southeast guys. 
Kentucky. You know what? I don't have too many bad things to say about Kentucky. Whiskey, fried chicken, horse racing, solid. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go easy on Kentucky. That's a fine state. That's a fine state. Tennessee, Elvis, country music. All right, two good things. Two good things. You guys know Elvis uh, actually lived in Germany. I think when he was stationed in the army, he lived in Germany. Here we go, guys. We're we're, we're getting to a couple bottom barrel states here. Oof, Mississippi. Let's see what this has to say about it. Really long river. Oh, that's good, guys. Mississippi. You have you got the river, Mississippi River. Listen, I'm gonna try and hold back here on Mississippi. You guys, you got the river. You did a great job with that. Let's move on to your brother and neighbor, Alabama. Oh my gosh, Alabama. All right, you know what? Let's just focus on the positives of Alabama. Sweet home, Alabama. That's great. Everybody loves that song. Sweet home, Alabama. Forrest Gump. A national treasure, Forrest Gump is. The greatest American to never live. One of the greatest uh, fictional characters of all time. He came from Alabama. Alabama, that's, you've got Forrest Gump saving you from me just, just firing off on this state. Alabama. West Virginia does not deserve to be mentioned. Virginia. And we've got a prominent uh, patron of mine who hails from Virginia. I won't name any names. Let's check these out. Where the racists meet the non-racists. Wine, tobacco. Hmm. These aren't that negative. I have a little bit of a soft spot for Virginia because I went to college in Washington, DC, which is right across the river from Virginia. So it's basically Virginia. Um, and I'll tell you what, we go into Virginia a lot. I kind of like Virginia. I'm just saying, Northern Virginia at least, Northern Virginia. These are stupid stereotypes about North Carolina. North Carolina stereotype should be tobacco. You know, these three states here, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina. Th this is a fine place. This is a fine, these, these are fine people. The one I've been looking forward to the most, I think, is Florida. Here we go. Bath salts. Oh, yeah. Fucked up shit. Oh, yeah. Dodgy elections. Oh, yeah. Guns. Yes. Old people. Oranges. Hurricanes. Alligators. Cocaine. Far too hot. Angry Cubans. Dexter. That's a TV show. Old people. Uh, guys, I love it. Every single one of these is completely accurate. Florida, um, wow, what a place. Somebody said to me that uh, the United States is the world's Florida, and that made so much sense to me. So like how I view Florida, that's how the rest of the world views the United States as a whole. I love that comparison. Uh, and so for anybody who lives in the States and hasn't had experience outside looking back in, that's a great way to think about it. That's how people see us. Damn it! We're the Florida of the world. Couple good states up here. Couple good states. We'll start up north, Maine. Basically Canada. Stephen King. Stephen King is that author who writes a bunch of like uh, mystery novels. Apparently he just like goes in a cabin with just bottles of alcohol and writes books and doesn't even remember writing them and they turn out to be kind of good. Seafood, lobsters, who wants lobsters? Whale watching, yeah, Maine. Uh, I actually haven't been to Maine, but apparently it's really, really beautiful. And um, yeah, sure. These two little guys always get mixed up. All right, to the east is New Hampshire. President Bartlett. I have no idea what that, oh, that's, that is the president from the show with the West Wing, played by Martin Sheen, I believe. Good show. Politics, Puritans, Libertarians. Cool thing about the states is every state has its own license plate um, with like different photos and images on it that represent the state and some have little mottos of their state. And the New Hampshire license plate uh, says live free or die on it. So that's very, um, very New Hampshire, very Libertarian, I believe. To the west, we've got New Hampshire's fraternal twin, Vermont. Vermont stereotypes, ice cream, trees, skiing, stubborn. Yeah. Massachusetts. I thought this was a hava bar. Do you like apples? How do you like them apples? Fake Irish people. MIT, Harvard, Mark Wahlberg films, apples. Hard to spell. That's great. Oh, look at this, this meme of Mark Wahlberg films. Hilarious. I have a love-hate relationship with Massachusetts. This is, this is probably the cockiest state of them all, Massachusetts. I've never met a humble person from Massachusetts. The egos are the size of Ohio times 10. It's insane. Below Massachusetts, you've got Rhode Island, the smallest state in the union. Tiny, stone students, not a real place. Not in Rhodes, not an island. Why is it called Rhode Island? Interesting, it's not an island. Here we go, Connecticut. Guys, I went to boarding school in Connecticut for one year after high school, before college. Going from Portland, my life in Portland, 
to this boarding school world in, in Connecticut, that was a greater culture shock to me than going from America to Germany. Yeah. New York, well, you know, upstate New York. Wait, this is all New York too? Uh, New York is literally just only the city. Yeah, upstate New York. Um, I don't know, do you deserve it? New York City, uh, pretty, pretty cool place. I think there's not many places in the world like New York City. What do we got here? Tall buildings, people shouting, yellow cabs, bit like London, but not as good. Um, yeah, New York City is a fast paced, aggressive place. You know how they say, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. Uh, I think that's true, it's very competitive. I would never, ever wanna live there, uh, in Man uh, specifically like in Manhattan. I think it's an awesome place to visit, cool place to see. I think to live there would be some sort of psychotic prison. Okay, here we go, moving on. Pennsylvania, you know what? I've got respect for Pennsylvania. New Jersey. Mob bosses, John Bon Jovi, Bruce Springsteen, fake tan, has a shore. If you guys have seen the show Jersey Shore, that is the pinnacle of New Jersey trash. It is an embarrassment to the United States. It is a very accurate representation of every single person that I have met from New Jersey. Sorry to say. <laughs> okay, Delaware, buddy, you don't deserve to be mentioned. Nothing there worth mentioning other than uh, rest stops on the highway. That's all you got, Delaware. Maryland, oh gosh, no. Like I said, I spent a lot of time in Washington, DC. DC's got its own culture, but then you're surrounded by two states, Maryland to the north and Virginia to the south. I'll tell you what, like in college, if we're like looking, hey, let's get out of the city a little bit, no one's ever talking about saying, hey, let's, let's go up to Maryland. Everyone's saying, hey, let's head down to Virginia somewhere, uh, Maryland. Sorry. If you're from the USA, I hope you were reasonably offended. Just like I said last week, I hope you were offended enough to leave a comment defending your state. And if you're from Europe, I hope you learned something because these are the most accurate stereotypes ever. Sorry, everybody. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe. And uh, sorry that the audio is probably bad on this, but my pa you have my patrons to thank for new audio coming soon. See you next time.